Please stand and join us in our gathering hymn, Hallelujah, Love is Alive. offer this evening mass for the uh, Matthias and for repose of the soul of Joseph. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we celebrate the third week of Easter, let us keep renewing our baptism through the sprinkling of the holy water. to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heaven pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, 
so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of your adoption, we may look forward in confident hope in the rejoicing of the day of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Let us now be attentive to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At the temple gate, Peter addressed the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him. But you rejected the Holy and Righteous One and asked to have a murderer given to you. And you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And now, brothers and sisters, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. In this way, God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out. The word of the Lord. reading from the first letter of St. John. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Now by this we may be sure that we know him if we obey his commandments. Whoever says, I have come to know him, but does not obey his commandments, 
is a liar, and in such a person the truth does not exist. But whoever obeys his word, truly in this person, the love of God has reached perfection. But this, or sorry, by this we may be sure that we are in him. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. The two disciples uh, told the eleven and their companions what had happened on the road to Emmaus and how Jesus had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. And he said to them, Why are you afraid, frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See, that it is that it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. And when they had he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you anything to eat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Peace be with you. But this is from the gospel of Luke. We heard this from John last week. In the Gospel of of Luke, this event does not report the famous uh, uh, Thomas that we saw last week, who was not there when Jesus appeared. It seems that St. Luke is not singling out one disciple, Thomas. But for Luke, all disciples are doubting. Not one, but all of them. So that all are called to proclaim 
what a weakness. Why are you frightened? Why are you doubting in your heart? Touch. The same things that John, the Gospel of John made to say, uh, Jesus said to, to Thomas. Now, look, he's saying the same things to all of them. Look at my hands, look at my feet. See, I have flesh and bones. I'm not a ghost. And he asked for food to eat. And once again, he speaks of uh, the fulfillment of the scriptures. Open the minds to understand the scriptures. He explained it to them, as he did it with the two disciples walking to Emmaus. Now, now in this passage, they are back from that. That are now back reporting to the others that Jesus is the fulfillment of the Old Testament. Jesus is strictly connected with the Old Testament. He is one with the Old Testament. Unifying the past, the future, in a present moment. Christ, the Alpha and the Omega, the author of life, as we heard from the Acts of the Apostle today. The atoning sacrifice for our sins and the sin, sins of the whole world, as we read from, from the letter of John. The universal point of reference. And you are the witnesses of these things, he said to the disciples. You are the witnesses. You are the one who touched my wounds. Now you are to tell. Now you are to witness it. Now you have to proclaim. You are now the faces of the resurrection. As we said last week. Now you are the faces, the glorified faces by the light of the resurrection that testify of this event. So we, we become, by grace, by virtue of the gifts of the sacraments, we become uh, certain of his presence, of his truth. We become certain of his gaze upon us, we too are called to be witnesses of what has happened to us. And what, so the question, what has happened to us? The disciples we know is reported what happened to us. They saw the risen Christ and they touched the wounds. What about us? Today. What happened to us? Or what is happening to us? What is happening to us within our relationship with Christ? In the Eucharist that we receive? In the sacrament of reconciliation? Is something happening? Something happening at the level of the heart? Because our true encounter with Christ changes. It changed the disciples, right? From the locked doors they are out to proclaim. What about us? Are we changed a bit when we live the sacraments? Because the true encounter with Christ changes us. He beautifies us. He glorifies us. Something we cannot hold it for ourselves any longer. But we need to communicate it, to witness it in the world, in the world that uh, each one of us, each one of you, is so unique, unique way that we are called to be by virtue of, of what you do in your life, in your workplace, at your, in your classrooms, in your shopping mall, wherever we are called to be. Words uh, 
that we say, the actions, the behaviors, our attitude uh, that reflect that light. All our being is informed, uh, generated by our faith in the risen Lord. Like the beautiful words of the psalm today, O Lord, let the light of your face shine upon us. And together, united in one faith, we profess, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and he said, he said to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there I will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Let us bring our prayers before the Lord. That the Church may continue to grow in charity and faith as she remains a sign of God's merciful love for all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the Lord may look favorably upon and provide the resources for the needs of individuals and communities, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all of us gathered here may be guided by the Holy Spirit in our work to build up the kingdom of God on earth by our words and our actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For peace in the world, that all nations, the, witnesses of, the witness of committed Christians, foster an increased respect for human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick, And for those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, Matthias, Joseph, and Loris Griera, may they be welcomed into their glorious place in heaven, we pray to the Lord. And for also those prayers that are present in our own hearts this evening, we ask you, Lord, to answer them according to your will and your mercy through Christ our Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Joseph, pray for us, Michael and all angels. 
Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such a great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceased to offer himself to us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. Christ is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed uh, holy, O Lord, and all you have created uh, rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered uh, to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we are brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate these sacred mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, give it to his disciples, uh, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, they took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, uh, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, uh, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Joseph and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope Gary, our Bishop, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen to the graciously of the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you this evening. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you are their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching in one heart, uh, we pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power Lord 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold uh, the Lamb of God, uh, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Just a reminder of our feast day, St. Joseph the Worker, May 1st. We have a Mass at 6 p.m. It's on Wednesday, followed by a potluck uh, with some uh, live music. So if you like to participate, there's a signed list at the back. And also CWL are selling their table for the garage sale on May, May 11th, Saturday. Let us pray. Look uh, with kindness uh, upon your people, O Lord, uh, and grant that we pray that those you were pleased to renew by the eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace and joy of our risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our recessional hymn is Lord, I lift your name on high. <laughs> Lord, I lift your name. 